What's up guys, today we are back on Primitive Era and we are going to talk about all the events that are currently available. I hope that you all enjoyed Christmas whether you're celebrating or not. And yeah, let's get to it. So uh, we have a shitload of pop-ups and everything and a lot of things to do uh, like for a few days now already. I'm sorry, I'm just recording this now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know just how busy people are uh, at the end of the year. Uh, yeah, I've got my finals. I've got uh, the Xmas things. Yeah, all like everything just coming to an end. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's start with the benefit tab. Uh, when you get there, there is the expelling ice pool. So... Uh, you have to be in a clan and then you can get these rewards fi up to five times a day. Uh, past that, you're not gonna get much. But you will still have to hit it uh, like more than five times a day because it's linked to another event uh, which we'll talk about a bit later. So I really recommend that you rush this every time people are online because waiting for... Uh, people to fill in your rallies uh, takes a long time. It's super long and it's awful. So yeah, every time you see people online, just rush expelling ice ball uh, rallies as much as possible so you're done with it. And absolutely don't uh, miss doing this um, five times a day till the event ends because these little gallant legacy chests are pretty good to be honest so you really don't want to miss any reward from there now uh, when you head to the events tab you've got the christmas time and this is where uh, the bulls are going to be needed first you have to eat a total of activity points of uh, 200 it's pretty easy to be honest uh, I, I don't think anyone actually playing the game will miss on the first category then you've got the second one. Uh, you just have to do to perform clan donations for a certain number of time. Uh, the rewards are pretty decent. Uh, same with this category. I don't think anyone will have any trouble. And then we've got uh, this one, which is a bit harder and a bit of a pain in the ass. You gotta run a hundred rallies on ice balls. So yeah. That's a lot, and the event is like seven days long, if I remember well. So if you only do five a day, like uh, to get the the rewards, you're only going to do thirty five. So you are going to miss out on sixty five bulls. So yeah, you definitely want to achieve this reward to clear up uh, category th the third category and get uh, the beast fruit. Obviously, the other frame is cool, but like it's all design so not as important as the rest so yeah uh so yeah just run ice balls every time you get the chance to do so with uh people online and you should be good honestly and with this they finally re uh released the reserve rapid re uh, rapid reap uh you can use it in the best re the beast reserve to instantly rip the outputs of a uh, 12 hour period of uh gathering so I recommend not using these uh, right now because your output um, is linked on you. Like the the stronger your beasts are, the more likely you are to be at a high stage uh, in the beast reserve, and therefore have uh, a good uh, output. So you you really want to use these as late game as possible because uh, your output will be much better and therefore the efficiency of the the item will also be much better and these are very hard to come by so there's no point like rushing using them now um, then we've got the fourth category um, you have to read these correctly uh, you don't just have to buy a pack or PE token like five times you have to buy them for five days it's it's quite different I know a lot of people got tricked uh, by this they were like 
hey, I bought like five pack and I only got this one uh, validated or anything. This is because you have to make at least one purchase every day for five days. So, yeah, uh, that's the little trick to this one. And you're going to unlock promotion badges which are pretty good. Some Beast Fossil frags which are really hard to come by, so it's also very good. And up to, category, up to the fourth category, this is achievable by light spenders and most players in general. But starting the fifth category and the sixth, this is where it becomes really heavily pay to win. Uh, you have to understand that in order to purchase eight uh, sparkling Christmas packs, uh, these, are, these are this one right here. Uh, it means that you have to buy this one, so that's five dollars, uh, then ten dollars, then twenty dollars two times, and there's normally another one which is like um, fifty dollars or something. But maybe you need to buy the first one to have access to it, or maybe it is tied to a specific chief hole level. I don't know. Um, I do know that on my other account there is like uh, fifty dollars uh, pack. Well, whatever. You have to buy these eight times, so that's one, two, maybe three, four. So like wh whatever. Uh, you will have to buy. I think if I remember well, at least one pack that is a hundred dollars. So it's pretty expensive. The packs are not that bad. I mean. The value could be much better. Uh, there actually had in the game there is there are packs that are much better with better better like better uh, cost and uh, rewards. But these aren't all bad though. So if you are a heavy spender or a mid light spender, maybe you can get there. Uh, but honestly, you are you are going to have to buy at least one that is a hundred dollars so that alone would make me reluctant to to go for the fifth category uh even though you have some pretty good rewards like the beast the beast fossil frags uh honestly i i don't recommend players going above the fourth category unless they already spend pretty consequent amount of money i mean it's all pretty relative because like a uh, hundred dollars might be nothing to some people and a lot to some others but yeah if you're light or honestly even meat spin i i don't know I'm, maybe i should like categorize like um to me if you spend over 500 per, per month you are you are like a good mid spender like this is becoming to be quite a lot of money so if you are spending over 500 per month then maybe you can go for fi the fifth category uh below that i don't think it's worth it you should just stick with your regular routine and you are going to get far more from it um Above that, uh, by all means, buy everything. And if you are a whale, like or a big spender, uh, maybe you already have the the cheerful Xmas old decoration. If not, uh, well, maybe you can get it from the food frenzy event. This event truly sucks. Uh, it's not that bad for a free to play player because you are very likely to get a three star lucky meat for the beast. Or may uh, and probably you're going to be able to buy some basic creation or maybe beast level reverter along with it. So it's not bad, but for spenders, it is one of the worst even ever. So if you want to go for it, I mean, go ahead. Uh, the rewards from the um, where is it? I I'm telling you, there's too many tabs in these things. <laughs> but well, actually, we've got some things to do. It changes from the rest of the time. So. Let's not complain. So yeah, 
Uh, the fifth category, pretty good, but the last one is very good. Like, uh, if you complete everything, you are going to be able to uh, uh, get two beast fossil because you get one there and you get another one from completing all uh, all previous one, and you also get a pretty decent amount of engraved embers. So, like, uh, if you can afford doing so, it's not that bad. Uh, like. The investment is kinda okay, but it's definitely not worth it for like most people, even for like mid spenders. This is really like if you already spend, I'd say like over a k a month, like a uh, thousand or something, uh, then maybe go for it. Uh, if not, honestly, I. You could run the maths, like make a comparison and everything, uh, but I don't believe it's worth it. You better buy off statues, parts, and stuff like that. So that's for Christmas, Christmas time. Then we've got uh, the shop that is linked to it. Um, then we've got the festive tree. Um, this event, uh, I actually making this video for this event because a lot of people are telling me that they are going to have trouble completing it and. There are some tricks. So, on a daily basis, you have to do your missions, obviously. Uh, if you're an active player, that shouldn't be of any problem to you. The Barbarians, uh, the Rally of Barbarians, this is the same. If you're not doing this, then just stop the game. You, like, you're doing everything wrong. You have to do this daily, no matter what. Uh, unless you're on island and, like, you have some other priorities. But even so, you're, like, you should do it. Like, obviously, clan first, but uh, most of the time, you can do both. And then, uh, you've got uh, Chief Clash. Uh, it's not hard. Honestly, you can randomly attack five people, whatever the results, you're going to get it. Uh, it takes, like, two seconds to do so. So, that's not the problem. But the real problem is this one right here. You have to defeat wild creatures uh, 70 times a day and this can be a toll on your stamina and like today is hero day so it's not that big of a problem but for some people it's going to be a problem. And the other problem is that it only rewards you with one bull ornament. So it's not a lot. I mean you have to get it but it's not a lot. And to hit the max reward on the festive tree... Uh, Right here, you, get, you see, you have to get 925 balls. So, I'll, I, I will let you do the math, but if you do everything right here uh, for the whole event, you're never going to get there. And honestly, maxing out the three, if your clan is, act, is active, is not that hard. So, you are very likely to miss on the reward and be frustrated because you are going to see that your Christmas tree is maxed out, but you didn't transport it in a uh, enough bull ornament to get the actual rewards from your clan getting there. So here's the trick: uh, if you want to get more bulls, there's currently the where is it? Uh, the food frenzy event. And during the Fruit Frenzy event, you can attack um, the, how, how do they call it? The Dominant Mandrill. I'm not in a clan right now, so I can show it on the map, but uh, you should have like two buttons right here. Uh, one to attack it, one to locate it, whatever, or, or one to rally it, I don't remember. Just port next to it and spam attack it. You don't even have to rally it, you can solo attack it, and it doesn't cost you a single stamina. So you just have to spam attack it and you're gonna get balls from it. So if you are worried that you can't um, get enough balls to get the max reward from it, don't forget there isn't like you are not just gonna get balls ornament from doing these missions or from buying it. You can... Uh, let me check this. I think it's actually explained right here. Wait a second. Yeah, it's written that um, board ornaments can be obtained via daily routine activities and each delivered board ornament wins one point for you. So you just spam uh, the hell out of these um, 
this man drill, you don't even need to rally it. Actually, you will lose time by rallying. It's not worth it. Just spam attack it and you are going to get a shit tons of balls from it. So if you're worried about this event, this is the little trick uh, I can give you. And I've seen a lot of people uh, ask for a trick to do this because they, the math doesn't add up if you can do this. Um, you can also, uh, there's this pack, obviously, if you want to buy them, uh, but <laughs> like, <laughs> this is such a trap. You, you can literally burn zero stamina, spam the hell out of the mandrill and get this in like 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, then there's the ranking, um, ranking rewards, uh, spenders are gonna get it, so don't spam the mandrill and try to get these, uh, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, um, then we've got the Xmas gifts, so you just, uh, claim gift daily, uh, it's not bad, but honestly, <laughs> like, this could have been so much better. Like, seriously, a two-star Lucky Mr. Smith, uh, they could have at least given you a three-star or something. So, yeah, um, th this is something, but it's kind of disappointing, to be honest. And so, yeah, um, at the moment, we also have the Food Frenzy event. I already did a video um, explaining how it works and how bad it is and stuff like that. Uh, this is the shop. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a video especially for uh, the Hornvet Diego. Uh, I already explained on my Discord um, like a uh, written explanation on how good he was uh, and on how bad he was and everything. But yeah, I promised to do a video so it's coming guys. I'm just overwhelmed. Anyway, I think I've covered everything regarding Christmas, uh, Christmas time, Festive 3, the Xmas gift. Yeah, I think we've got, we've got it all covered. So yeah. Um, if you've got questions, as usual, hit me up on Discord or in the comment section. Uh, all links will be available down below in the video description. There's also my Patreon link if you want to support me financially or whatever. Um, Anyway, uh, thank you all for supporting me, for watching the video till the end. I hope it helps. I hope you like the content and see you for the next videos.